it's a little different when you got a cold. It just it, it isn't the same. Yo, what's good guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. Today we got a detailed look and review on these bad boys right here. This is the Air Jordan 12 in what they're calling the royalty colorway. They're not listed yet on sneakers here in America, so I don't know if that's the official name or not. This is what the internet has been calling them around here, so that's what we're gonna go with. I don't know what their backstory is or any of that stuff. All I know is that they were this close to retroing the Taxi 12s and they decided to do this instead. Why? For the Queen of England. But then, no. <laughs> Anyways, I do like the way that these look. They're built kind of okay. They're not like anything crazy or anything like that. It's actually, it's pretty subpar, all things considered, especially when you compare them directly to the OG that's back here. But anyways, these guys have released overseas, which is where I was able to get mine from. I got mine from ID for Shoes on eBay. We'll have a direct link down below in the description box for anybody wondering. Anyways, the outsole right here is Gorgeous. I love the way that the 12's bottoms look. Just herringbone from top to bottom. Traction Little... pods. What? Aren't they traction pods? Yes. They're in two segments. Yes, I will give you that. Thank you. I normally reserve that for the 11, normally because that's solid rubber around, uh, you know, translucent, which actually is on the Air Jordan 12 in select colorways, namely the white and red and the black and red. The rest of them are all solid rubber. Well, the, the rest of the original colorways. And then right there in the middle is a shank plate. It's made out of carbon fiber. This guy right here is just a standard looking gray on gray. The uh, taxis are black and yellow. This outsole, while it's gorgeous as is, the taxi colorway is a little bit nicer. They got a little bit of a red hit with the yellow jump man. And or actually it's the red jump man and the yellow hit is the 23 right there. So this one's real plain. And then moving on up, we got a full length file on midsole. And then inside of that embedded top loaded is a full length zoom air unit. This is the first Air Jordan to actually feature zoom air. So, fun fact, or the more you know. They do start off very stiff when you first start to wear them because of that giant carbon fiber shank plate. You gotta break that in a little bit. This is one of my favorite Air Jordans to play in of all time. I can't ever pick between these and the 13s. Which one's better? It just kind of depends on the day. The upper on these guys is very Taxi 12-ish. The only real change that they did is that Jumpman tab right there. It used to be black, now it's gold. I do not like that thing in gold. It looks very tacky to me. So if you like it, I'm not trying to, you know, rain on your parade or anything. I'm happy for you. All I'm saying is that I personally don't like the way that that looks. You could paint it if you wanted to, but I wouldn't. It just, it is the way that it is. So you must appreciate it for what it is, but I just don't love it right there. The materials are okay. I do expect a little bit more from the 12s because the 12s are a premium shoe, or at least they used to be. These just kind of feel like, you know, the white leather is nice. The tongue white leather is awful. It's like a really cheap plasticky synthetic. The overlay leathers, which are the lizard embossed stripes, they're really stiff. Man, the ones that's back there, those originals back there, they're so nice. So yeah, so when you compare these to those, or even these to like a 2004 retro of a 12, they're not quite as good. <sighs> However, if you're just wearing these for lifestyle, should be good enough, right? Now, one thing that they did keep the same on the Taxi 12s and these are the uh, little eyelets right there. So they got the gold eyelets. I think that that looks dope. They did switch out the laces to black. However, if you wanted to put the white ones on there, they do come with them. I will probably be doing this. I'll switch them out in the B-roll so that you can have one of each just so that you can see. I don't not like this, by the way. This reminds me of back in the day. So back in the day, a lot of us, and by us, I mean those that could afford the Air Jordan, which was not me. They would actually do this with the Air Jordan 12. It was very popular. So whatever the base color was, and then the accent color was the stripes, they would change the laces out to that, but they would have dots in them. 3M? Uh, sometimes they were 3M, but like, for example, if you were going with the playoff uh, Air Jordan 12, a lot of times they would switch them out to a black lace with white dots and that was real popular, or a red lace with white dots, or white lace with red dots for like the pair that's back there, or the black with the red dots, all that stuff. You can, you know what I'm talking about, right? One of my favorite parts about the shoe is actually on the tongue. It spells out two, three, although the three is a number, uh, but the two is in letters and I think that it looks dope. They actually switched this out to gold instead of the traditional black. I love it. I think it looks great. This is like really cool looking. So I really, I really dig that. I also really like, believe it or not, the back. I do love the regular taxi back uh, where it's got the, the yellow and the red and stuff like this, but this one just looks really clean too. This reminds me of a, like if this was a defining moments version of the 12s, that's what this looks like to me. Like the six and 11 pack, like if this was one of those types of shoes, this I feel like fits right in with that. Actually, that would have been really cool if these came with dog packs because then it could have been like a you know what i mean jordan brand 
Now, as far as fit is concerned, they do fit true to size. So whatever you typically wear in your Air Jordan 12, so that's what I would recommend if you are going to play in them. You could go down, have a size for a super snug one-to-one -one fit. It'll actually help with the stiffness of the shoe. Uh, they'll just be a little constricting at first and they will feel a little bit different on the inside. Cause look at this liner. Well, it's black, so it's gonna be hard to see. We will try to adjust that in the B-roll footage, but they did do a slight quilted look to it. I don't love it, but I don't hate it either. I just prefer the regular stuff. I think that this is one of them shoes where like, it's like you quilted it, that's cool, but nobody can tell. What these you are, want, these are, gold thread? No, it's just cause these are high tops. The thing barely sticks out the side, like the, the liner, and it's not silky. Like I loved it when they did, this, a lot of people probably don't remember this unless you were around, but like the silver anniversary stuff, they did these like weird, it was the same liner as what was on the Air Jordan 23. And it's like the silky ass, like, oh man, it's so comfortable. And they did that with a number of shoes. They did that with like the nines, the 11s. It was a comfortable liner. This is not quite that. So it's nice that they did it. I don't know if that's part of the royalty thing. I am curious to know what the main theme of this shoe is once they hit sneakers. But at the end of the day, it's pretty much a taxi 12. What do you think about these? I don't I don't even think you like 12s. I don't like 12s, but I like that they're releasing them now or in the near future here in the States. I think they should have dropped already because I feel like this shoe can carry you from October events all the way to New Year's. Mm -hmm with the colorway like this could be a great shoe for like a jack skellington costume and then as you're like going to family festivities and you feel like you gotta dress up a little bit but you want to look cool with your jordans like you got the gold i'm saying thanksgiving christmas new year's eve the shoe works yeah no this colorway with this color body is super simple with the small changes that they did make i think that they were slick with it because it didn't alter things too badly so you can still get that taxi 12 look which is a super clean look on the 12 you know what i mean pretty much matches with everything and i like that so jack skellington yeah phone didn't, daddy didn't he wear uh like santa boots when he's santa my sandy claws outfit i don't think he was wearing 12s well you can be the new jack skellington oh i'm not gonna <laughs> be that at all i know you're not but thank you so much for watching thanks for all the support since apparel hoodies are coming soon this is one of the many launches we actually have these we got the cool gray 11s the cool gray 11s is gonna be a fun one man there's gonna be a few different color options for that and there's a story behind each one. Oh, the concords are coming too there's some other hoodies also but uh there's some delays on those because i want those to match up with some shorts the shorts are fire okay the shorts are hella fire i'm ex i'm so excited for the shorts but but anyways, uh, if you're interested, make sure that you sign up for the newsletter. You can go over to senseapparel.com. The shop is currently closed and it's open for pre-order. So when it's closed, it just says, you know, enter your email for newsletter and you do that and then you'll get notified as soon as the pre-order is open. But thank you once again for watching. Thanks for all the support and until next time guys, have a good one.